I'm Scott Cousins, editor of the Frankfurt Times, and these are some of the stories you'll see in Monday's paper. Voters will have a number of interesting choices for county races in the May 8th Republican primary, which usually determines who wins the general elections in November. Incumbent County Council President Alan Dunn is being challenged by Rochelle Lutz, and fellow council member Steve Fry will face off against challenger Jake Myers, a current currently a Frankfurt City Councilman. In a race for Skip Evans' Board of Commissioners seat, the incumbent is being challenged by County Councilman Scott Shoemaker. In a race for County Sheriff, incumbent Jeff Ward will be seeking to retain his seat against Kirkland Town Marshal John Fawcett, who was defeated by Ward in the last sheriff's elections. All other countywide races are uncontested. In another story, She had not finished processing all the evidence, but Parker Griggs knew she found the culprit. Lab assistant, you're going down, she loudly proclaimed, as others continued to work on their evidence. Eventually, they all agreed it was a lab assistant that took Stephen Smith's coffee cup, but someone suggested that perhaps it wasn't a crime. Maybe the lab assistant was trying to clean Smith's office and moved the cup. Apparently, it was a well-known fact that the office was messy. Be a Science Detective was part of Clinton County Reads and gave children a chance to test evidence and determine who had committed the crime, in this case, taking the coffee cup. Clinton County Reads continues through March. Citing the existence of of a common mission, leaders from two organizations serving Clinton County agreed last week to deepen their partnership. The Crossing Frankfurt School Board decided Thursday to facilitate a fundraiser to be hosted this spring by the local Pregnancy Resource Center. Two years ago, Stacy Utes was looking for a job a little more local. Today, she is the office manager at Frankfurt City Power and Light. Utes, the wife of Frankfurt City Councilman Josh Utes, and a 1999 Frankfurt High School graduate is responsible for, the, re, responsible for the office operations, including the budget and supervising eight people. And finally, patrons shopping in downtown Frankfurt now have another store to frequent just off the square. The Black Crow, located at 200 South Jackson Street, opened for business in January. The store sells items like primitives, antiques, and candles, according to owner Wayne Baker, who said he hopes his business offers something unique to shoppers. For these stories and more, buy a copy of the Frankfurt Times Monday or visit ftimes.com. Again, I'm Scott Cousins, and thank you.